So the first thing I want to point out about this next problem is actually the number. It's number 19. It's number 19, which means that it's toward the end of the test, which means it's a more difficult problem. So right away, that cues me up that I'm dealing with a more difficult problem. So I know that if an answer comes to me really quickly, I shouldn't trust it. So I'm looking at the problem, and it's giving me a couple of little clues. It says, triangle XYZ is equilateral. Equilateral is a great word. That's a gift. Whenever I see that the triangle is equilateral, I know a couple things. I know all the sides are equal, but I also know that all of the angles are equal. And because all of the angles are equal, that means that each angle is 60 degrees. So I know that in this triangle, I can label each of them 60 degrees. Now, I could label that angle Y 60 degrees, but I noticed something. I actually have two triangles with right angles right here. So I know that what I really have are two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now, 30, 60, 90 triangles, the SAT loves those problems. You should really know those ratios, 30, 60, 90 ratios, really well. They do give you a little guide at the front of the test that you can flip back to to remind yourself if you forget it, but it's really good to know that pretty well. Okay, so now I know I'm dealing with two 30, 60, 90 triangles. They also tell me I have a side of length 2. So each side is 2. So the entire XZ would be 2, but it's broken in half, so each side is actually 1. Now, thinking back to my ratios, I know that any side that is opposite the 30 degrees is my X, and any side that is opposite the 90 degrees is my 2X. The side that's opposite my 60 degrees, that's my root 3X. Well, I know my X is 1, so this side is just going to be root 3 times 1, or root 3. Now I know what my diameter is. But they're asking for area. Whenever they're asking for area, the important term, radius. So even though I have root 3, I'm not done. To get that radius, I have to take that in half. So I remember that area of a circle is pi r squared. So I'm taking my radius, which is root 3 over 2. I am squaring that, and I'm multiplying it by pi. Now remember, when you square, you have to square the numerator as well as the denominator. So don't forget that important piece. So when I square this, I get root 3 times root 3 gives me 3, and 2 times 2 gives me 4, and I'm multiplying that by pi. Now sometimes I have students get a little confused. They don't know if the pi should go on the numerator or the denominator. I like to think of it as you're multiplying it by pi over 1. So when you do that, you actually have 3 pi over 4. And now you have the answer to a difficult question involving geometry and a lot of concepts that you should really be familiar with before you take the SAT. So we've just seen a problem where it was really important to remember your 30-60-90 ratio. So I want to just reinforce this really important uh, geometry concept. The SAT loves the 30-60-90 triangle, so it's really important that you get this down. So remember that the side that's opposite the 30 degrees is always your x. The side that's opposite the 90 degrees, or the hypotenuse, is always your 2x. And the side that's opposite the 60 degrees is always your x root 3. Really take time to really get this down and memorize it, because this definitely will come up on the test. So now that you really know the concept of your 30, 60, 90 ratios, you can see how it would come into play with the problem, like if they told you, OK, you have an equilateral triangle, and it has a perimeter of 18, what is the area? Now remember, perimeter means when you add up all of the sides. So when you add up all the sides of this equilateral triangle, it equals 18. Because it's equilateral, that means all sides are equal. So that means all of the sides are going to be, each side is going to be 18 divided by 3, which is 6. And because it's equilateral, that means that each side, each angle, is 60 degrees. This is also 60 degrees, 
But remember, I can split this into two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now I'm going to use my ratios to figure out how to find the area. Well, I know that the side opposite 30 degrees is my x. So because the whole side is 6, half of it is going to be 3. So that means that my x is 3. My hypotenuse, which I have, is 2x, which works. And that means that my side that's opposite 60 degrees is x root 3. So this side is going to be 3 root 3. Now to find the area of a triangle, again, something you should really know. And again, something that does show up at the beginning in that little box that gives you important formulas, but you should really know. Area is 1 half base times height. Now we have the base and we have the height. From here, it's just inputting it into the formula. So we have area equals 1 half base, which is 6, times height, which is 3 root 3. Put that together. We have area equals 18 root 3 over 2, which reduces further to 9 root 3. So you can see how important it is to really know this concept well. So make sure that you know it well before the test day.